Has any leader around the world made the coup attempted fail? Only a few leaders around the world who managed to defend themselves against the military coup in their country. And it's very hard to find the population of their country to rally behind such a leader. Why that is not the case with Burkina Faso? In Burkina Faso, thousands of protesters gathered on Saturday in several large cities to support Captain Ibrahim Traore and denounce the stabilization desires of the country. Thursday, during a televised interview, Captain Traore denounced the actions of a coalition against Burkina Faso, claiming to have turned to strategic allies such as Russia and Turkey. The country has seen two military coups and has been plagued by jihadist violence that has claimed more than 10,000 lives. However, we're experiencing this for the first time in the history, how people of Burkina Faso, they are coming in their number to show their support and love to their leader, Ibrahim Traoré. All the attempted military coup against him, it has failed. All the assassinations attempted against him, it also failed. Instead of them succeeding, they keep on failing because Ibrahim Traoré have the support of his people. Many people they are speculating saying that there must be a massive support behind all this survive of Ibrahim Taore. So, according to you, who do you think this person could be? Who do you think could be supporting or covering Ibrahim Taore to survive against all this military coup and all the assassination attempt against him? Let us find out. In West Africa, Burkina Faso is one of the African countries which has been going through a lot under the dictatorship of the former colonial who've been exploiting the Burkina Bay minings and mineral resource and looting everything from Burkina Faso and leaving people of Burkina Faso without nothing. Oh yes, they've been doing this for centuries without having pity for people of Burkina Faso until Ibrahim Traore came to power in September 2022 when everything took another direction. We all know that Ibrahim Traore came in power through a military coup. The military coup in Burkina Faso it was something which people of Burkina Faso they have get to used to. Since the time or since the colonial they have left that country physically and they decided not to leave Burkina Faso economically. They did not let Burkina Faso have that freedom with their own mineral resource. That is when they get to impose their puppet president to stay in power and be detectors to this part of Africa soil so that them will be able to have this easy access to a uh, Burkina Bay uh, mineral resource where they will come and take it as much they want without no one asking them with, uh, what they have to do in exchange for people of Burkina Faso to benefit from their mineral resource which belongs to them after all these years. So politicians in Burkina Faso, they were all captured on the hands of the Western, they were all controlled by France, British and the US who came to tell them what to do in that part of the uh, country. And since they could not be able to sit one place as Africans and have one better understanding that can benefit their people, well, they will always get to betray each other. They will always have to be betraying each other in the form of Today it is you in power, tomorrow it has to be someone else just because this person has to go to the one of the western country and have a better deal with them that will benefit the western and the western they have to come and betray you by organizing a military coup which will have to take place in this country so that they will impose their own puppet president and that is how it was well known. But guys, how this is not the case with uh, Ibrahim Traore? Why is it that since Ibrahim Traore came in power to a military coup. Things have changed around in a different ways that even this same Western, they have tried to remove him in power through military coup, yet they are not succeeding. Well, in order for us to understand all this very well, we need first to drive it to what he, uh, Ibrahim Traore has managed to do so far since he arrived in power in that particular part of Africa continent. So before we get to do that, Please, this is just a reminder for you to click your likes, give us your thumbs up, like this video in your numbers. We really do appreciate that. If you have not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button right now so that you don't miss. Thanks for doing so. All right. Now let us find out why this military coup was not successful and who's the mastermind behind it. 
The spokesperson for the government of Burkina Faso denounced Thursday what he called an umpteenth attempt at destabilizing the Sahelian nation. He said a coup attempt had been foiled. Citing findings of preliminary investigations, Rimtal Barjon Emmanuel Wedrago said the coup was scheduled to take place on January 14th. He added that a network of military officers, some retired, some are active, as well as civilians and activists, conspired to destabilize the institutions of Burkina Faso. The network allegedly sought to target citizens' watch bodies to sway the people's support for the ruling patriotic movement for the safeguard and restoration. The answer is, it is not because of his popularity or because of one, two, three things that he has done to people of Burkina Faso so far, but because of his political strategy and his foreign policies that he's trying to implement on place. That is what made him survive all this coup attempted against his government. The mastermind behind all this coup attempt against Ibrahim Traore, it is not only the militaries which are found inside this government that are working with certain people from the outside or some individuals who are supposed to be the civilians as such as the politicians but the true mastermind behind all this uh, military coup attempt against Ibrahim Taore it is the western themselves and here we are talking about France we are talking about US we are talking about British Germany all these countries combined together who have something very Important to that they have to lost in this part of Africa continent. They are the one who are fighting by all means in order for them to remove or eliminate physically Ibrahim Traore, so that they will come and impose their puppet government, which has been at their service for all these years. Now, seeing someone such as Ibrahim Traore standing on that position without giving up to them what they are expecting him to give, or without bowing to their terms and conditions while well, that is what's driving them insane and these westerns with their medias with everything in their possessions they are using their power to destroy the government of ibrahim traore traore's journey in power it was not the easy one guys keep that in mind traore his journey to be the president of Burkina Faso, it is something that took some time because he was within the armies, but yet he was observing and he was full of pain to see on how people of Burkina Faso they've been suffering and seeing on how leaders of Burkina Faso they managed to sell their soul to the devil. I'm referring them being at the service of the Western instead of them being at the service of people of Burkina Faso. So all these things were things that which uh, uh, Traore have to consume in order for him to have that eager or that anger in order for him to come and take over. And what happened now since Traore decided to come in power? Well, he came and start correcting the mistake of his predecessors, I'm referring whether it is in the army or whether it is in within the politicians who were in the government as ministers or president. He first start making sure that all the ties that linked Burkina Faso with these Western countries, he should start stopping it one by one. Ibrahim Traore, he kicked out all the Western country in this country. Remember. He's one of the first African leaders so far who decided to cut all the ties with the Western. Guys, we all know how this Western, especially the U.S., how they managed to blackmail African countries, how they managed to control African countries even from far. They pretend to leave Africa. They pretend to give African freedom. But yet when they are seated far from, uh, from their countries, they are the ones who are monitoring each and every situation that is happening in the African continent. That is why you see them whenever you are organizing election in your country, they are the first one to jump on the front line and tell you on how you guys should respect democracy. Democracy that they are imposing on Africans. They have to tell you how things have to be done. But if you have to look back in their countries, 
they don't apply none of these things. The democracy or human rights they are preaching around the world, these are the things that these people they don't apply at all. We have seen it and we are seeing it right now around the world. We can see what these people they've been doing. So these people, they managed to um, control Africans from far with all these things because they were having a last word to say in African politics. So Ibrahim Traore have understood that and he have to come and look on, at, on these all countries and say that, okay, what kind of country do we need to have a relationship with? What country do we, uh, can we be friends with? If we don't have that mutual respect, are we going to continue to be at the service of uh, these oppressors or should we move forward and try to do something better for the Africa continent? When Ibrahim Tohore, he have sit and realized again that the Africans leaders with African Union in Addis Ababa, these people they are not doing exactly what people of African uh, or of African continent are expecting from them. Instead of them being at the service of African uh, people, they kind of like uh, doing everything which have to comply only with what the Western have to come and say in Africa politics. So he understood that in order for us to do something more different to what all our leaders have been doing before, we need first to start cutting all the ties with all the Western countries who are having influence on our country. We are going to set this as a fine example. We are going even in Africa continent and look around in the big organizations such as the AU and see if it does benefit people of Burkina Faso and people of Africa or not. If it does not do so, then we will have to isolate ourselves from all these activities. That's what the men managed to do so far. He chased France out of his country. He cut all the deal which his predecessors they had against France when it comes to on how they have to explode the gold of Burkina Faso in different minings. He, he stopped all these things and said that no, from now on, you guys sit there and relax. We'll let you know if we need your help. Otherwise, we are good so far. He went on and chased the U.S. military base in his country. He removed them, all of them there. He even influenced his neighboring countries such as, such as uh, uh, Niger, who had also to do the same thing. He stopped all these Western countries from his country so that they should not come and tell him what to do in his land. He did not only stop there. He went against the African Union by condemning them on how hypo hypocrite they've been. Each and everything which the Western have to condemn, them they have to support it. Why the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the West or America or France, they can't support the African Union on what they are bringing on their agenda? Why is it, is it has to be only the Western who have to come and say something about Africa? And the African leaders, they have just to say, yes, we accept. They, they have just always to always bow to, to, to the Western uh, 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 point of view that they have to raise up. So these are the kind of the things that he had to stand against the African Union and calling all the uh, leaders who were seated in that chamber saying that they are all puppets because they are not for Africans but they are there for their own families and they are there for the Western because they are protecting their Western so that them they will live a better life. He even give example saying that these people are the one who goes and uh, uh, invest a lot of money in these foreigner countries. Yet, they don't invest in their countries because they know that what they're doing is wrong. And that's the reason why these African leaders, whenever they get sick, they don't get healed or being treated in Africa continent hospitals. They would rather prefer to go to foreigner countries such as in Europe countries or America countries and go and go and get their better treatment. These are the sign of showing that these people, they don't want to invest in their countries. They're investing overseas because they know very well that whatsoever they are doing, it is something wrong. And one day, once the African youth, they stand up, they'll get to lose everything and they'll be, they'll, they'll be left empty-handed, will confiscate everything from them. That's even the reason that keep motivating them to trust the Western even more. Forgetting that this Western, once they're done with you, they'll make sure that they kick you out. They can even throw you in jail. Go and look at the International Criminal Court, who are full there. We never see them arresting any uh, 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 member of NATO countries, 
for all the crime that they've been committing around the world. We have true criminals who are well known. People such as George Bush for committing serious massacre in Iraq. We have people who did serious, the worst part of things in, in Pakistan. All these countries in Libya, these people that are free out there. Tony Leblade is also there doing what's uh, living his life like he never commit any crime before. Yet these people, they are living their life peacefully. And these people, no one ever called them to the uh, ICC in order for them to be uh, judged over there and be found guilty according to the law. These people, they are, they are untouchable. But go and see that, Jane, how it's full of African leaders and politicians. African politicians that are full of them over there. It's just something small. Maybe that's because the Western, they don't want to work with you anymore. Or maybe that's because the Western, they are tired of you and they want to replace you with someone else. They'll use that uh, uh, ICC things to incriminate you and raise up some files against you so that they'll manage to uh, send you in jail and replace you with someone else. These are the things that these people have been doing. And Ibrahim Traore, he have come to understand that he don't need this kind of people by his side. It is this kind of people who've been bringing a lot of instability, not only in Burkina Faso, but in the entire Africa continent, because they know that once they bring instability in this uh, in the Africa continent, Africa won't be able to develop. Africa won't to be able to invade or fabricate any things that the world can also celebrate out there. And they'll get a chance to come in, of course, as they always pretend to come in and preach the gospel of peace, saying that, no, we are here to help you develop your country. We are here to bring peace in this part of your country. We are here to fight a terrorist uh, around your country. Through that uh, same excuses that they've been giving all this time, it is how they manage to continue looting Africa because we, we used to have the kind of leaders who just accept to welcome these people in their country and they are not doing nothing. So Ibrahim Traore, he's been observing all this for so long and he could tell that these are not people who can come and help us anymore because they've been here saying that, for example, we are here to fight terrorists. How many terrorists have them even managed to arrest? How many a peace or part of the country that they've managed to establish peace if it is not instability that keep on reigning in all over the Africa continent. So he understood all these things and that's how he kite tight from all these people. But what else did Ibrahim Torre did in order for these people to be so desperate for them to take him down? When? He not only stopped there. The men even went far by starting like to influence Russia, other China, African countries. Traore hoped to create look, a more balanced and resilient economy. That these people need. This shift in foreign policy was not just about economic in interests. Nations. It was also this, a political if, if statement, these people signaling Burkina to, Faso's uh, desire to chart its course in the our world. Our leaders, as their puppets or as their underways, it is all because they, they are not having a, a common understanding among themselves. So today it is a France who will come and impose their own leader. Tomorrow it is uh, maybe a British or America and so on and so on. So we can't continue to live this kind of life when we can be our own leaders, when we can do these things on our own. We don't need their help. So Ibrahim Traore, he went on and started influencing all these other countries such as Niger, Mali. And he telling them that, no, we've been through a lot. And now that we are having this military government in place, we should not trust politicians. Because civil politicians, they are there to seek for their to, to, to work for their own benefit, to work for, for the interests of their own families. They want to live a better life and they're forgetting the life of our people. They will end up selling us again. So therefore, we rather keep the power and make an order put everything in order whereby our people are more happy and then we'll see how do we can start now organizing elections. So these uh, other two countries, they had welcomed his uh, ideas of uh, coming together and work as Africans so that they'll set this fine example for all the African countries who are still pending in this kind of misery from the Western. So they this is not something that sit okay with the Western. They went crazy. Yes, you guys, you saw them seated inside their Senate cabinet, talking about it on how 
Burkina Faso, Mali, Mozambique, these different countries, as they mention it, saying that these countries, they are all running away from us. They are now finding another alternative countries that they would love to work with, such as Russia or China. We feel like a family in the sense that Russia is also a family for Africa. We are a family because we have the same story. Russia made enormous sacrifices to liberate the world from Nazism during World War II. The African peoples, our grandfathers, were also forcibly deported to help Europe get rid of Nazism. We share the same story in the sense that we are the forgotten peoples of the world. Whether in history books, in documentaries or films, we tend to brush aside the preponderant role played by Russia and Africa in this fight against Nazism. So these are things that are pissing these people off. Was that all? No. Still again, the same Ibrahim Traore. He went on and tried to squeeze all the places where Burkina Bay uh, politicians used to steal the money from the government. He made sure that these people they don't get a chance to steal anymore. Whether it is through the justice system, he had to threaten all the judges by telling them that if you don't do your job properly, if you have to be having two types of judgment, the one that you reserved for uh, people who have money and people who are like such as politicians, and the one that you keep for people, uh, poor people, you must know that your outcome will be very bad because I will deal with you as a military and not as a, your, your leader. And this was something that they were not expecting him to say. It's because remember, a corrupt justice system, it is something that the oppressors, they usually use in order for them to get away with all the crime that they are doing in the African continent. We all know that. So wherever there is a, a failed justice, it is an easy way for the, uh, the, 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 the former colonials who are still uh, stealing from Africans to continue looting these countries in Africa. So Ibrahim Traore, he had understood all these things and then he had to threaten first all the um, people who are supposed to be in charge sitting behind the, the, the court and he told them that if you're not doing your job properly, then it will be a serious problem for you. And then this is the same man who went through his cabinet and told all the ministers that your salary are going to be cut so he dropped the salary of uh, his ministers. Why? Not because he wanted to collect this money so that he can go and spend on himself with his family. No, but he cut their salary so that you will put it to the budget of the country so that this man will be able to help people of Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso leader Ibrahim Traore, he have done quite a lot of things in this short period that he's been in, uh, in power. He have managed at least to fight the basic things. I'm not saying that everything is fine over there. Of course, through, uh, I mean, under Ibrahim Traore uh, leadership, we saw how the, the, the Mesmil uh, price had raised up, the oil price raised up from like, I don't know how much is it, but from uh, like a, a big high percentage. And this, we all know that it is a trap which the Westerns they have put in place in order for people of Burkina Faso to, to get tired of Ibrahim Traore and uh, let him go or maybe to start uh, calling him for him to leave the office. Because we all know these people, it is their strategy that they've been having. Just because they're the one who control the uh, MasterCard, because they're the one who control the internet with Google, it's because they are the one who get to do one, two, three, three things. So they will use every, every tools in their power, whether it is through sanctions, whether it is through what, so that they'll make you, they'll make you, your, heart, your, I mean, your, your leadership become so hard, so that people of your country, people that you are pretending that you are, you are saving, they should hate you. And that's what they've been trying all these things against Ibrahim Traore. They raise up the, 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 the money of uh, uh, Burkina Faso to have a high rate against the U.S. dollar. And Ibrahim Traore tried to resist it by even also going far to threaten them that no, if you guys continue doing this, 
of course we are going to have our own monetaries we are going to have our own currency and they thought maybe was joking the men already start making a new move by uh, locating all the countries around the world which are under the same sanctions as the one of Burkina Faso recently you guys you saw um, the new elected re-elected president I mean to say uh, of uh, Venezuela who had to send this foreign minister over there they are all recruiting each other soon they, will, they are planning to join also Zimbabwe so that they can sit down and have a conversation to see on how they can either come up with their own currency or they will have to wait the currency the one which BRICS had announced because they feel like enough it is enough and they don't need to be trading again with this US dollar that the Americans get to use each and every time when they feel like things are not going in their favors so Ibrahim Traore that's that the challenge that is facing so far and we are we are all aware of it that the us with it allies that's what they usually do whenever they feel like they don't want you whenever they feel like they want to destroy you whenever they feel like they want to make people hate you they'll try to paint you with the brush and the color of their choice at the end of the day it is critical for the u.s to have a footprint on the continent even a little goes a long way the same can be said of U.S. business investments. Africa is, is of vital strategic importance to the United States. We can't let China or Russia become the preferred security or business partner. I am convinced that in a few years, I don't know if it's 10 years or less or more, we will have the obligation to go back and help these African countries. What is being played out in West Africa is an entire area of Africa which is changing and which could become the lever of our competitors and in particular Russia to impose a model of society. That's not ours. That's what happens. It's not just security and we see this kind of smoke and mirrors. We now see the Russians who have arrived in Chad, who are in Burkina Faso, who are in Niger, who may soon be in Senegal. We know that they had expressed their intention to extend towards Côte d'Ivoire. For me, that's a little bit, a little bit, that's what's at stake. What is our coherent and consistent strategy towards Niger and what do we plan to do to prevent Russia, China, and Iran from filling that void? We are now fully engaged in the competition, uh, which is precisely what we need to comprehend. Moreover, uh, this is particularly significant. So that's what they've been doing so far. But unfortunately for them, instead for them, uh, instead for these uh, tips to work for them, it keep on failing. Do you know why? Well, because Ibrahim Traore did not only have the support of his people. Mm -hmm. Ibrahim Traore did not only have the support of Burkina Bays, but Ibrahim Traore had the support of the entire Africa continent, including the Africans who are found within uh, diaspora borders. The, all these Africans, they have understand that this is the kind of the leader that Africa needs today. And these African youth, they have understand that since we are under revolution and we are trying to fight against the oppressor, we are trying to fight against the former colonial, we need such uh, leaders as Ibrahim Traore, we need such leaders as uh, P.L. Lumumba, we need such uh, leaders as um, uh, Julius Malema, we need such leaders as... Uh, um, uh, President Jani, all these people, they have understand something that this is a better way to get rid of this Western. This is the better way of us saying goodbye to France, who've been in the Africa continent for so many years for no reasons, and we have not seen what they have done good to people of Africa. I find myself akin to a cyclist laboriously climbing a steep slope, swaying from left to right. From precipice, he is obliged to pedal, to continue pedaling, otherwise he falls. If you look around Africa, wherever you are watching us right now, if you, as long as you are inside African borders, you will see that this Western, whether it is America, whether it is British, whether it is Germany, whether it is Italy, whether it is France, all of them, you are not going to show me one or two projects that you, you, you have come across with and they say that this building or this stadium or this railway is being built or they are building it by these countries, one of these countries. You are not going to see it. But yet these people, they are still stealing from African mineral each and every time. 
They are stealing African mineral without giving us something in exchange, without making Africa uh, uh, um, uh, develop. For them, it's, it's just like they are coming to collect whatsoever we have so that they will go and grow up their economy and develop their, their countries. So, Africans, they have understood that we need such leaders such as Ibrahim Traore because with this kind of mentality, with this kind of ideology, we'll be able to get rid of this Western and start developing our beautiful continent. That is something that these people are not able to handle. That's the reason why. That's why everything by all means to make sure that they get rid of Ibrahim Traore. They have tried already so far. Three military coup. Three military coup in the face. The recent coup attempt against President Ibrahim Traore. Ibrahim Traore has been in power since September 30th, 2022, and he's promised that there is going to be an election in 2024. So he has been making moves that have convinced basically Africans that he is there for the right reasons and many people trust him and actually appreciate what he's doing. Imagine this, he's the youngest leader in the world, excluding royal families. So he's definitely someone that people are looking at and seeing as a hope for the youth. But you might have guessed it there are people that see him as a threat especially nations that used to rule over burkina faso that used to be their colonizers now they're not very happy with the change that they are making because their move means that it's going to affect this former colonial powers that is something that never happened anywhere around the world military coup to if it comes it succeed if it fails it will become a revolutionary for people of that country. And these people who usually do military coup, they'll tell you that, no, we're doing it because our people are tired of this leader. Our people want this leader to, to be replaced. Or we're taking the power so that we can give it to, uh, to people. That's what they usually do. So that's why, you see, whenever military uh, uh, coup took place, they always have the support of their people until they start now doing things otherwise to not what people of their countries they were expecting them to do. And in the case of Ibrahim Traore, it was either they had to succeed by removing Ibrahim Traore in power and replace him with someone else. All that uh, transition had to take place under the guidance of people of Burkina Faso. But they failed. And when they fail, normally, it's supposed to be that these same people of Burkina Faso have to stand against Ibrahim Traore by starting maybe prostating, as we are seeing in Kenya with William Ruto, or maybe by start calling him to leave out the office. That's not even the case. Ibrahim Traore has the support of his people. Everywhere he goes, people of his uh, Burkina Faso, they are supporting him. They want him to be there. The men remember, he almost retired last year, 2023. He almost resigned from the office. But people of Burkina Faso they were like, no, Baba, you're not going anywhere. You stay right there because we still need you. We need your leadership in order for us to get rid of all these Western uh, uh, influencers who are coming in our country. You know, and the people of Burkina Faso, they remain that way. They love the guy. And that is what is driving the Western insane because they feel like all their mission so far is failing in the African continent because through people such as uh, Ibrahim Traore, Julius Malema, uh, Prof. Lumumba from Kenya, and so many Pan-Africans who keep on alerting this African youth to understand that We've been colonized for so many years, even after the former colonials, they pretend to leave Africa soil, yet they still uh, following us in all our activities. Well, that's it's something that Africans, they don't want to, to do it anymore. And now they're trying to follow this kind of leader so that this message can reach to each and every an African out there so that we will assume our own responsibility because we want to take our destiny into our own hands. And that is the journey which the Western, they feel like they can't be able to reach until the end. So they want to make sure things that must be 
cut off as soon as possible so that they'll continue control of Burkina Faso, gold, and other African mineral resources. Unfortunately, that's not happening because that time is no more. Time has passed. Things have changed around. Africans, they have understood the game and the world of the game. They have understand all the strategies that the Western they can get to use in order for them to impose their leadership in Africa soil. Africans, they want to do things differently. And they need people such as the Burkina Faso with their leader to come forward and show a good example for the rest of Africa. So here, as true Pan-Africans, we support this kind of initiation. We support people such as Ibrahim Traore. We support people such as Julius Malema because of their strategy and the dream which they will have for Africa continent. It is Africa first and the rest can follow after. Because we believe that it is Africa that unites us as a black child. Guys, that will be all for today. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video until now. We really do appreciate your presence. We believe that it was very important for us to come and discuss this topic with you so that you can understand why all this military coup keep on failing against Ibrahim Traore. And we had exposed and explained everything to you on who is the mastermind behind all this. And we also explained you how Ibrahim Traore is managing to survive all this coup attempt against him so far. So thank you so much again. Before you leave, do us a favor. Uh, make sure that you hit that thumbs up, uh, like this video in your numbers, we really do appreciate that, it is very important, it is free of charge, we encourage you to do so, so that it can also encourage us to continue doing good for all of us here at Cool Bus TV. If you have not subscribed to the channel, well this is a, a good opportunity for you to be part of this big family, to be part of this uh, Pan-African platform which we had created for you so that we'll be having this kind of conversations whenever time is allowing us so we are inviting you to subscribe to the channel so that whenever we're live we, you will be able to be part of us and uh, engage our uh, yourself with us in uh, the conversation as we usually do it but forget uh, don't forget to drop down your comment in the comment section give us your opinions also on how you think how uh, Ibrahim Traore is managing to survive all this could attempt him uh, against him and um, tell us also what do you think uh, we should do as Africans in order for us to help him and people of Burkina Faso to continue resisting all this uh, temptation from the western so we really do appreciate that but if you feel like like, uh, you can also help us uh, maybe with something I mean like uh, as you can see we're having a new studio uh, all these things need a bit of uh, space here and then so if you feel like you can buy us a camera if you feel like you can buy us a microphone or even a studio light or anything that you feel you can contribute well you are more than welcome to do it out of your willing uh, we will really do appreciate that because we know that it is a way of us uh, moving forward as Africans it's, it is a way of us trying to help each other so that uh, uh, we can pass this message to many uh, Pan-Africans around the globe who are uh, having that stress and who cares about Africa continent you know people who believe that uh, we are nothing without our beautiful land because everywhere we go around the world whether we go in Europe they treat that somehow you know they use racist against us you see how our fellow Africans are dying in the oceans over there all just because they are they want to travel to this land the, which has nothing to offer them when we have everything here at home so we are here to help Africans to understand that we have everything and we can become a hero we can become a United States of Africa we can become anything that we envy out there because we are the one who have everything and these people they can be the one who can be coming to our countries guys imagine if one day we wake up we are seeing Europeans now coming, seeking for a good life in Africa. Imagine. Imagine one day, you see, that, that now the world, the entire world is now afraid of Africa continent because they consider us as a United States of, Amer uh, of Africa, as we are having United States of America. We will be having our own nuclear bombs. We will be having uh, different things we fabricate, we invade. Because all these mineral resources and things that these people get to use in order for them to invent whatsoever they are breaking out, therefore, it came from Africa. It came from African soil. So why can't we also do it on our own?
and we are here to encourage one another so if you find this message very important you and uh, be, very beneficial for you and uh, you feel like no this is something that uh, should reach to many more africans out there well it is very simple you just have to hit that share button share through your whatsapp message uh, through your facebook or social media platforms do that so that many people they can get to hear this kind of gospel about africa and the unit of africans so that one day we can be able to be that powerful africa uh, as we always dream for us to be so that's the the reason why we have these platforms and we are encouraging you to contribute on your own way uh, that you wish to contribute as much we are also contributing for this message to be reaching to many african around the world so that one day we can succeed to all our goals as we've been dreaming for so Thank you so much guys i think that will be all for you today i really do appreciate your precious time that you have given us and watch this video up to now we really do appreciate you for that for now continue to be yourself be good be kind have respect for everyone in order for you to be respected may god bless you all i'll see you again very soon in our next video ciao ciao